Today on The Breakfast, the People's Democratic Party's crisis is far from over as Yachu Ayu vacates office as PDP appoint Liayu Damagu as acting chairman. We'll also be discussing telecommunications as well on The Breakfast. And don't forget, we'll also be going through today's newspapers, analyzing the biggest stories of the day. Welcome to The Breakfast in Plus TV Africa. My name is Messi Bofo. Uh, it's a beautiful Wednesday morning and thank you so much for being with us. Sincere apologies for starting a little bit behind Welcome shadow to and that's because of uh, issues beyond our control. Uh, now on a top trending, that's how we start the conversation. It's also interesting to note that we have uh, uh, an interesting lineup of uh, conversation this morning now, on the breakfast. Trending, but as always, like I mentioned, uh, what are people talking about? What are Nigerians engaging with? What stories are making the rounds? First is the fact that INEC intends to hold a supplementary elections in Kebi and Adamawa State April the 15th. Apparently, if it was going to be on the April the 1st, I'm sure uh, some persons will think that's just an April 4, but hey, it's the 15th of April. And the, uh, you know, the umpire has said that uh, these elections will be conducted, and that's because uh, the commission had put out a statement on Monday, which was also um, signed by, you know, the umpire's chairman, Mahmoud Yakubo, at this point in time. In that statement, was stated that the supplementary election will be taking place in five senatorial districts, uh, 31 federal and 58 state assembly constituencies and the date again is the 15th of April. Now it's expected that if you are in Kebi state, if you are in Adamawa state, uh, despite what had transpired on the 18th or the 25th of uh, you know February, it's important that you go out and cast your vote. So uh, the, the question again would be, uh, what are the expectations of the people? Is this news? Because I mean, Nigerians had reacted differently saying it's not our business, go ahead and do what you have to do. But I also think that it's a window where INEC can rewrite her wrongs. It's, it might just be in two states, but um, some of the issues, uh, some of the uh, issues that characterize the elections of February 25th and of course, uh, March the 18th, you want to look at them, the issue of violence, voter suppression, um, a lot of issues, uh, beaver issues, security, hopefully, um, all of these issues will be addressed just as the people, you know, head to the polls on the 15th of April. That's exactly what is expected. Now, uh, according to that statement, it is that uh, you would be having uh, the supplementary election, I hope I had mentioned this earlier on, uh, held in Adama and Kebbi State, five senatorial district, 31 uh, federal and state, 58 state houses of assembly, uh, this is what it is. So yes, INEC has another, you know, opportunity to right the wrongs. And uh, the question on the minds of a lot of Nigerians is as to what exactly is going on, you know, with the complaints that you've had in different, you've had in different quarter. Uh, one would hope that INEC would be having these elections in, in not just in Kebi and Adamawa. This is what some Nigerians are saying, but that is not the case. Now we're saying if elections are going to be happening in the states on April the 15th, what were the wrongs of the umpire? Uh, how did the security personnel turn out? What were their response? What are the issues? Uh, we're hoping that there would be uh, rewriting of all of the wrongs, especially with the beavers and sending results in real time because that was really the issue. Uploading results from the polling unit is another one. But um, just quickly as we coast this conversation down for the want of time, another issue on a top trending where a lot of Nigerians are reacting is that uh, there's a report making the rounds that Boko Haram repentance or those who were, you know, in were granted some sort of pardon, have repented. And so they call them Boko Haram repentance. They have graduated from uh, a rehab center right here in Nigeria. Uh, at least 500 repentant Boko Haram terrorists graduated from rehabilitation camp and they have apologized to Nigerians for the killings over the years. For the killings over the years. <laughs> uh, that didn't really sit well with too many persons. Uh, you see the thoughts is that how um, do you talk about uh, 
how do you now talk about repentance and of course also talk about the issue of uh, people who have committed crime i mean people who have killed people these are persons who have murdered and then we say oh amnesty has been granted to these persons we're going to rehabilitate them but you know uh, they have graduated but Nigerian students have not graduated the strike has been on for a long time uh, you want to begin to juxtapose that these persons have been empowered uh, what exactly is the guarantee that uh, they're actually repentant uh, that won't get back you know into the system they apologize for killing people over the years that's a lot to grapple with but it is what has happened and uh, we can only continue to talk about all of these issues but that's the size of it this morning on our top trending we take a quick break when we return it'll be time for us to go through the front pages we call it off the press please stay with us good morning <laughs>